recent study has found increasing numbers of dead polar bears in the Arctic. Now, some would have you think that this trend is due to climate change, but we here at The Scoop have assembled a crack team of investigators to see what's really going on. And here's what they've discovered. Teddy White is a polar bear and has been for most of his life. At first glance, White seems to be your average carnivorous Arctic mammal. He lives near the North Pole. His diet consists of mainly seals and the occasional walrus. However, at 12 years old, White is already making a name for himself within the polar bear community as a public speaker and a religious zealot. White has formed a community of polar bears on some melting ice caps that he has dubbed the Brotherhood of Bears, a religious sect that promotes self-starvation and ritual suicide by drowning. When approached by journalists, White became very hostile, growling and stomping his paws on the ice aggressively. However, our Arctic interspecies linguists have obtained footage of White communing with his subjects and interpreted it thusly. My brothers, my sisters, we are not of this land. This existence is but an icy purgatory through which we must travel before we can bask in the eternal bliss of an orgasmic heaven. White went on to command his followers to hold their heads underwater until death, believing this the only escape from our cruel and indifferent reality. This disturbing news from the North is not the only instance of climate change being bullshit. For example, liberal news sources have claimed koala bears are starving to death due to a lack of eucalyptus when we have proof that koala bears have actually been dying to their frequent hunger strikes to protest Planned Parenthood. And many wildfires have been recorded in California due to teenagers going in the forest to smoke marijuana cigarettes. And perhaps the scariest of all, there have been increased reports of hurricane activity due to Muslims and Mexicans hacking into weather satellites. Well, that sure is easier for me to believe than the end of days that was proph prophesied by the Holy Bible I read every day. Stay tuned for the heartwarming story of a sickly old man who, thanks to a local youth organization, receives weekly donations of toilet paper, eggs, and flaming bags of dog fertilizer. <laughs>